Welcome from Balmoral Castle and a very special one man and his dog. This year is our 35th anniversary. 35 years on the BBC and so we couldn't think of a better place to host this year's competition than the grounds of Balmoral, the Scottish home of the Royal Family. And as usual this year we have four countries competing, England, Ireland, Scotland and Wales. And we have three challenging courses to test the nerve and the skill of our handlers and of course the dogs. First of all we've got young handlers, all of which are under 18. Then we move on to the brace which is one man and two dogs. Then we have a round, the singles round, it's one man, one dog, but two flocks of sheep. Well, the man with all of the knowledge is, of course, Gus Dermody, who set this course. Now, Gus, not only you set it, you actually have it gold in, so what are your predictions for this? Well, it's a little bit smaller than usual, but it's difficult, it really is difficult. And uh, maybe Scotland have got a slight advantage in that, yes, they are on the home territory, as you say, but we're also using Scottish black faced sheep, which can be a little bit stronger. It can be feisty, <laughs> can't it? We're going to start with the young hand. So we don't make things easy for them, that is why we're popping them on first, so let's have a look at the two and stuff. So he's the course and it's worth a possible 100 points. To start, five sheep are set at the lift post at the far end of the course and heading in the direction of the castle, the handler sends their dog out on either a right or a left outrun to reach the sheep and there's a possible 20 points here. Then the dog approaches the sheep and moves them gently back towards the handler, that's the lift and it's worth 10 points. There's 20 points up for grabs with the fetch, but not the sheep must go through the fetch gate, and the handler must remain at the poles to get maximum points. Next is the drive, hugely important, and worth a possible 30 points. The dog needs to keep the sheep moving at a steady pace here, so they don't miss the drive gate. It'll be points lost if they do. The drive ends when the sheep enter the shedding ring, and this is one of the many places where it can all go wrong. Here, any two sheep can be shed off. Dog must hold them until the judges are satisfied for a maximum of 10 points. For a final 10 points, all five sheep must be penned and the gate closed. The whole course must be completed within 12 minutes for maximum points. Well, I'm not the only one with a pretty good seat in the house. Our judges, Arthur Roberts and Barrow O'Brien, have a pretty good spot too. We've raised them up above the course so that nothing can escape their expert eyes. Now, earlier on, we did a draw to see who would be the first competitor of our 2011 competition. And it turns out it's ladies first. Susan Benny from Ireland. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our next competitor isn't just a promising young handler, he's also a keen sportsman, obviously trying to get a win today. Put the brakes on these sheep that don't want to hang around. It's Leon Harris for Wales with his dog, Bess. Well, Leon and Bess are going to be a tough act to follow, but next up to the podium is a Scottish young handler who's celebrating his 14th birthday. And so he leaves the field with a reason for a double celebration. Well, proving to be the trickiest obstacle on the course so far are these sets of drive gears, and it's this pull through. You can see from the handler's perspective, it's very difficult to see when to actually turn these five sheep, especially if they're going at a good, strong pace. But hoping to get England to clean you through is the youngest competitor of the day. Full marks for the pen, let's see what that does for the overall score. Matthew and Blue score 66 for England. Well, Gus, you always said that this was going to be a, a tricky course. Are you quite surprised at how the young handlers coped with it? I thought two of them did very, very well at it, the way uh, Cleo and, and Susan managed things, and then uh, they did very well. You were quite surprised at the start with Susan getting, um, getting Jill up onto the podium, and uh, that was a great little move, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, she was perfectly entitled to do it, and was to an advantage, because her outrun was good. Now, a bit of a nightmare at those drive gates. Yes. And that, I mean, that, was, that is a really tricky obstacle. Yes, it is, and not many of them have done that before. Uh, the actual pull-through is, is rather difficult. Ah! <laughs> He's through those drive gates. Well done, Matthew. What do you think this means for Wales? I mean, you know, that Cleon's given them a massive score of 88. I think Wales could be the danger team now. Well, time will tell. Guys, you can now relax. How are you all feeling after that? Was the hardest part for you, Matthew? Well, it's the um, drive the back across because you've got the dip and the dog goes outside. Right, so okay. Yeah. Okay, John. A little bit tricky, obviously, at the start there for the back of the elbow. That's not me. Well, at least 